So here's a question. We all heard expressions. We all have bad days. We all have heard the expressions. We all have had great days. But what do you call it when things continuously happen again and again and again and again and again and again and again? Oh, let me just stop right there because I can do a couple more agains. I have no idea what to describe to any of you other than to share with you well, yet again, the journey, this Jurassic Park type of adventure that I am on. And I am so sad to tell you that it has now infiltrated my co-host, Dr. Tommy and Ellie. And that is what today's Monday episode is all about. I don't even know what to title it. All I'm going to say is, have faith, let it begin. Starts right now. Welcome to Have Faith. Let it begin. Here's your host, Angel Santana. Hey, Ariel, can you say, have faith? Let it begin. Let it begin? Let it begin. Say, have faith. Let it begin. Let it begin. No, no. no? No? Okay. It's a boy. Hi, Noah. Noah! Oh, Noah. <laughs> oh, Happy birthday, Noah! Kidding. Oh, oh, amazing. Just those <laughs> <laughs> oh, Noah. Hello, everyone, and welcome to this Monday edition of Half Faith Let It Begin. We are here with Dr. Tommy Nelly. We are back from this uh, crazy, uh, as I said on your show yesterday, Croc Podcast, 9 a.m. Sundays, by the way, um, the two ships passing in the night. You've been doing a lot of traveling one way. I've been doing a lot of traveling, but we still find our way to shine light at each other saying, hey, I'm over here. How you doing, Dom? Well, I have to tell you, Angel, it's wonderful to be back. I actually missed um, our Mondays. We've missed a couple. And uh, to your beautiful, beautiful listeners, uh, thanks for having me back. Uh, it's been a travel. It's been a uh, tough spot for both of us. I think, um, you know, I always have said to you when you would call me about either um, illness, and I know that you've been down with your back and the kids, and uh, then you had your parents, and then you had all sorts of, um, you know, mishaps in the house and expenses, unexpected expenses. And then, of course, back then your back goes out, you're starting to lose weight, you're starting to work out you're getting a CrossFit and then all of a sudden that happens. Um, you know, I go away, I, you know, Oh, we both had personal loss in our family. Um, over the last couple of weeks, we've had friends who've had losses. Um, it just really feels that, uh, you know, and I, I, you met my daughter who's with us this weekend. Um, we all, the way she teaches me is, you know, you have good luck and you have bad luck and you could feel sort of, and we've talked about this on your podcast there's sort of like almost like a, an inertia. There's like a, you could almost feel yourself going into the valley and then you could kind of feel yourself pulling out. Um, the only difference is that we're not pulling out. You know, we're still in that ditch. And I think that this is the point where, you know, uh, that beautiful, um, would you call it a story, that, that story about, uh, they call it footprints, where, you know, um, a person is looking back on their life and they're seeing two sets of foot footprints and their footprints are side by side with Jesus. And then all of a sudden during the rough times and the storms in life, there's only one set of footprints. And the person said to uh, Jesus, you know, Hey dude, what's up? Um, you know, you were with me when all the good times, but like, where were you? There's only one set of footprints. And he would reply. That was the time uh, when I had to carry you through those times. And, and I think that, that that's apropos in this case, uh, Angel. Um, my wife and I talk about it all the time. You know, what is the purpose? Why are we here? Um, you know, why is there a system put together where there's so much pain that we suffer so much that, you know, why is there so much pain that we have to endure and when we have to endure loss? And the only thing I can say um, to make any sort of sense to it is there has to be a bigger picture. And I think that's what I love about Have Faith, Let It Begin. And, and I wish my wife would listen to it more um, because it really does at least try to point us uh, to that explanation as to why things happen the way they do and why we have to suffer the way we do. I find myself, good point, by the way, um, though you were giving your, you give an example of the ditch. And it's funny you say that because I've never talked to you about this offline. So we're saying this right now together. I have pictured myself in 
inside the ditch looking up and there's a sea of ropes like somebody putting a rope down and then if you if i can climb out of it i'll i'll get myself out but i feel as if every rope that i've grabbed onto has snapped in half and it, it's not it's not holding now you asked me a you just brought up a good another statement that said you know what's the purpose of us being here i just got asked yesterday from my own wife even my own brother who who deal with their own issues we all are going to have our faith tested, number one. For those of you that don't believe in God, don't have faith, you're all going to encounter bad luck. You want to call it bad luck? Some people would say bad luck is not what we use. Listen, we all go through the storms. It is what we do with that storm that makes us who we are today. What doesn't break you, what doesn't hurt you will not break you. And I know that doesn't sound like the right cliche, but that's the way I word it. I actually word it that way. What doesn't hurt you will not break you because... You cannot be afraid to succeed. And in order to succeed, failure is half the battle. And right now you may think you're failing because of all the negativity that's surrounding you, all these clouds and these thunderstorms and these lightning strikes. And maybe you haven't actually been struck by lightning, but I can tell you that no matter what happens and how bad it will get, there's always going to be one person that is going to pull you out just in the nick of time, just like the greatest type of, uh, uh, you know, uh, movies like a, like a Harrison Ford and Indiana Jones in that last second pull. That's what's going to happen. Right now, some of you are driving the car and you're saying, listen, the pendulum hasn't switched yet. It hasn't turned. Why can't I just overcome this? Stop worrying about where, what you, what's happening to you right now, because this is what's happening to me. I, you know, Dr. E can tell you, I can barely sit for, I have to stand up. My back is killing me. And I say to myself, why? I haven't done anything. Don't think about what we or I haven't done to deserve. There's a purpose for what we're going through. We're going to be a vessel one way or another to others to share in our misfortunes, our, <laughs> our troubles, our misery, our financial despairs, and God knows appliances breaking down. And you're going to be that person that says, I've been there. But you know what? Stop and think for just a second. Now I'll get a little preachy on you. When's the last time you have thanked God for when things are actually going bad? Because that's what I do. I find myself praising God even on the bad days. Even when I feel, and I'll say it, I'm not afraid to say it. Even when I feel like I shouldn't have to pray to him because I feel like he's not that close to me or he's far away. I still thank him. Because I know deep down inside, he's listening. And deep down inside, it will turn for the better. And that's all it can be. What's that old expression? There's only one way to go, and that's up. Yeah. You yeah, know? and I, I think, Angel, the other thing I want to say is that we have to also look at everything in, in relation to, um, you know, a reference point. So being a, an oncologist, you know, when things go wrong, whether they're um, you know, the weather is not nice for the picnic or whether it be, um, you know, that things don't go your way or the boiler breaks or you and your litany of issues with with electronics and appliances. Um, you know, you burn the roast X, Y and Z, your car breaks down, you know, really at the end of the day, you know, you look at one of your patients who might have, who be 37 years old with five kids under four years, I'm sorry, uh, four kids under, under five years old, and they have an incurable brain cancer, or they have something else. And you said to yourself, wow, you know what, it's really, who really cares about the roast or the car or, you know, my washing machine or, you know, the bad weather, you know, I guess the picnic's going to be ruined. Um, the turkey's burned, whatever it really is relatively unimportant. And when the big things happen, you know, loss, especially separation and loss, um, you know, that's when you really, really look things in perspective. And to your point, that's when we need to, to jump on the shoulders of our creator and, and have them, he, she um, get us through. And uh, that's so beautifully said, Angel, that you said. And I think so too. And I think that, um, you know, what we shared is, is, is powerful enough to, to, to mold over. I think that um, 
we could continue to talk about it, but we're, we'd be we'd be just repeating ourselves again and again. There's a saying that I say on this show before I give you the last word. And I, I say it not because the words sound good. It's because I really mean it. I don't, I say to everyone that God is with you, that God believes in you, that God trusts you, that God loves you, and that God will never leave your side. Remember that God never sends you in a situation alone. God doesn't, God does, doesn't go away from you. God goes before you. He stands beside you. He walks behind you. Whatever situation you are in, you, especially right now, you have to stay confident because God has not forsaken you, hasn't left you. However tough life is going to be, especially right now for all of us, God is there. He does not allow the enemy and you don't let that enemy to convince you that you are alone because guess what? You're not. Wow. That, you know what? Without knowing an angel, you just did our prayer. That's, and that's the way I do it, man. That's the, and I know, and I, you know, I've been doing this five years and sometimes when I get like this, I feel like I, I, I even can admit, and I'll be very, very blunt and honest. I, I feel sometimes that I'm, I don't want to come across as that guy that's telling you that I'm the one that the tell all end all. And I know everything. I don't. That's why I'm honest with everybody. That's why I no, share. Angel, you don't understand. Yeah. Like the, the Holy spirit just speaks through you. I don't even think you know what you're saying. I don't sometimes I feel like I'm rambling. That's why I'm like covering myself. Because no, you, you are, you are, you are, you are imbibed with the Holy spirit, my friend. Yeah. So I'll give you the last word. Well, I, this is a very, um, I know it doesn't sound like it's an uplifting uh, episode, but it is. Um, this is, we're speaking specifically to people out there who are in that rut or in that valley um, who are there with Angel and I right now. Um, but I will tell you that I promise you that if you keep the course, uh, you will climb out and you will be you will be helped up by your creator. And that is a promise. Just don't give up hope. Don't give up, um, you know, your faith and don't give up your hope. And please listen to this beautiful podcast daily and let Angel help you through. Let me close out by one final thought. I went to a funeral this past week. To visit, uh, well, we all know Sigfredo. Yes. His father-in-law passed away. And, and his minister went up there and said something that I've actually never have heard put in this way. If you're not a believer and you're listening to somebody preach and you're tuning it out because you're not interested, that is okay. But understand that God is still waiting for you because he wants to meet you. He already knows who you are. He's waiting to meet you and he's excited to meet you. So if you're concerned or not sure, this is not an accident. This episode is designed for that one person. And you're right now driving and saying, oh my goodness, I'm the person. Yes. So every time you think you're being rejected by God, God is actually re redirecting you to something better. So ask him to give you the strength and to press forward. Because God is with you. God is always going to be by your side. God loves you. And God understands and knows who you are. Remember that today. May God be with you. May he shine his light upon you. And grant each and every one of you peace on earth. On behalf of Dr. Tommy and Ellie, we'll see you again next Monday with uh, him on the show. I'll continue on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And then, of course, the Croc Podcast. Sundays at 9 a.m. If you're not tuned in, you're missing out. Dr. Tom, as always, God bless you. And to everybody out there, have faith. Let it begin. Thank you for listening to another episode of Have Faith, Let It Begin. That's right, Ariel. We're done with another show. And it's always great to have this show with you, my love. You know, we're going to encourage each and every person to listen to our show every single weekday. That's right. You and I are going to help change the world. Do you think that you can do that for me? Huh? Yeah, you know you can. She does. We want to let you know, and it, yes, we encourage you to listen to our show each and every weekday, and it's going to be live at 7.30. Make sure you're subscribed to our show. Make sure you get ready, fasten those seatbelts, because Ariel and I and my family are going to bring you a new topic, a new story each and every day, right? Isn't that right, Ariel? Yeah. 
and we impress. <laughs> She's smiling at me. Guys, enjoy your day. <laughs>